In this video, I will show you how to bounce off the walls in Pygame. So the first lines of code I want to look at are these four variables. So x is where on the horizontal the object will be, and y is where on the vertical it will be. Now I have the variable switch. This is going to show if the ball is moving up or down. Then horizontal will show if the ball is moving left or right. Now I want to hop down the code. Right here is where it all happens. This first decision will see if the switch variable is up. If so, it will decrease the y, which will make the object go up. If not though, it will see if the switch is down, which using this code, it has to be either one. If so, it increases y, so it will go down. The next decision is the same as the previous, but for moving horizontally. So if the variable horizontal is equal to left, then it will decrease x, which will make it go left. And if horizontal is set to right, it will increase x to make it go right. Now to go down a section to here. This is where I check if the object, which will be a ball in this case, is touching the wall. First one will check if the ball has touched the left wall. Since the radius of my ball is 10, if the ball's center is 10 away from the wall, then its outside has touched the wall. It then will change the horizontal to right to tell the program that now the ball should be moving right. Then I also switch my variables which moves the x value. Now I see if it has touched the right wall. I use my window size square bracket 0 to check if it has since that is the width of the window. Therefore being the location of the right wall. Then this will switch the gradient variable again and the change the horizontal to left since the ball should be traveling that direction now. Now with the verticals, this is the same as the x except we don't need to flip the gradient variable to negative. So when it hits the top wall, which will be at y equals 0, we change the switch variable to down. Then finally, we check if the bottom has been touched by using window size square brackets 1, since that is the height of the window. It would change the switch variable to up if so. The last line is making the object, which I input the coordinates as x and y, and the radius is 10. I hope you learned something from this video, and please consider subscribing and liking to promote my channel.